Hi guys, back with another video. As you can probably tell by the title of this, of this video, I'll be recapping my planners for our past Disney trip. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep on watching. I honestly don't remember what I've put up. I'm pretty sure I put up a video of just showing you all of the things for Disney as far as planning goes. So the inserts that I was using for the trip that I was taking with me, and then I believe it was a video of me setting up my themes for my Erin Condren memory planner. I'm gonna put my Erin Condren off to the side for now and go over my A6 rings. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I put up a video showing you like the inserts that I was using for the week. I know I put up a plan with me for this week, the week prior to going, and then I believe in the Disney setup video, I did show you the inserts that I was using for the trip and I think I explained how I was using them. But anyways, let's just jump into a flip through of my A6 rings. Now, I think I went into a whole spiel about what I'm going to do as far as planning goes in that one, and I mentioned wanting to be able to write down and jot down things at the end of the day of everything that happened and how I didn't want to be on my phone because I knew I was going to be on my phone all day for Genie Plus, mobile food ordering, taking pictures and all that. Well, I didn't write in my planner once. And I don't even think I opened my planner once except to get the money that was sitting in my planner for our vacation. Other than that, I didn't touch this thing at all. I had it all set up, decorated, was all excited about being able to write things down at the end of the day. Did not happen. I used my phone to keep track of all of the rides that we went on and I'm glad I did because I was able to keep track in the order that we did everything. If I had saved it for the end of the day, I wouldn't have remembered anything. I am going to show you how I set up my days and then you can kind of see how I intended to use it but anyways I believe I listed all of the inserts that I was using for this week here is how the week was turning out I did do I think two weeks worth in here Monday Tuesday Wednesday we were still at home and what I did was I just ended up doing large to-do lists for the day because I knew well, I just needed it because there's lots of cleaning to do, lots of last minute things to do, and listing spreads are always my go-to when I just feel like I'm going to be super busy. So again, we were still home on Wednesday. I didn't even bother checking anything off that we completed because it was just a hectic day and I kind of had in the back of my head everything that needed to be done. So that's that. And here is how I pre-planned the entire time that we were there and let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the stickers a little bit closer. So I did decorate each day with a bit of washi tape to kind of match what was going on for the day so I'll show you all of that. So like I mentioned in the previous video I did use a section to write down everything that I knew that was going to go on for the day and then as you can see I have all of this open spot and my intention was to sit down at the end of the day and just journal everything that we did. We were exhausted. We ended up getting sick. We were tired it was extremely cold for us like every single day and so yeah we were just really really tired and i didn't even get a chance to journal I was, I was too tired, but anyways, I did decorate each day with everything that I knew was going on. This was like exactly how everything happened on this Thursday. It was a Disney day on Friday, so I did use my Happiest Place washi tape, and then I just simply decorated with Disney's reservation system. You have to choose what park you're going to be entering first. We did get park hoppers, so I just ended up writing what park we're going to be entering first. So Friday we did Disney, Saturday was a downtown Disney shopping day. We had Goofy's Kitchens reservations and we planned to go to the mall. That's the washi tape that I chose for Saturday. Sunday, I just chose the simple Christmas Mickey washi and it was just a shopping day uh, at two different malls. Uh, we ended up getting, or some of us ended up getting sick, so I'll show you that in my Erin Condren memory spread. Monday, I just chose the firework washi. The plan was Universal Studios, eating at Chick-fil-A and doing some laundry. And then the next four days were all Disney days so I did choose the happiest place washi on all of those and then just wrote in what parks we that we are starting in on each of the days as well as Thursday and Friday and then I wrote just the last day which was Friday and then a packing sticker and then here we have a chose the night washi because we had a like night-ish flight and we we're getting home late and that's how I planned out that day. Didn't end up doing this mini golf thing and then uh, Sunday I didn't even end up filling out. We were home this day so I chose the summery magical mouse washi tape since we were back home. Thing is blank. I didn't fill out anything after we had left so yeah. 
I really had all of the intentions of journaling each night, but uh, it was long days sometimes, we were getting sick, it was cold, we were tired, we were exhausted, so I, like I mentioned, I did keep track on my phone, which is exactly what I didn't want to do, but it ended up working perfectly. So that's my A6 rings, uh, it was almost like it was brought for nothing, cause like I said, I didn't open it once during the entire trip except to get out my money that I had stashed in there. Moving on to my Erin Condren, I'm pretty sure I filmed a like theme setup for the trip. So let's do overviews first. I did not film filling anything out blurry so yeah i didn't film anything or film me filling anything out because it was literally just printing pictures and a whole bunch of writing a lot of writing as you can tell i usually when i print pictures for my planner i will usually use my canon like the one that attaches to your phone or connects to your phone to print pictures that sticker photo paper is thicker i wanted it to be not as bulky so i ended up printing all of my pictures on my sticker paper just off of the computer and putting those in some of them are collage most of them are collages and then i literally just took whatever i had on my phone and wrote it down and i wrote everything down in the order in which it happened yeah just using my phone worked out really well because as soon as we got on a ride or got off a ride i could just type in my phone what we went on or where we ate or and everything like that so here is just an overview of the first week i'll go in and maybe just talk about highlights for each day as like a recap because whenever i do my memory spreads you guys usually hear about everything that happened but because there's a lot just going on i'll just do like the highlights of the day and then i just absolutely love how this week turned out it's just i don't know i i love it well i love the kit and then just having every all of the pictures in here and then just all of the writing makes me very very happy so now that you saw the overview i will go into and zoom in and just show you how each day turned out and just maybe a highlight for each day i'm still recovering from being sick i still have this cough i feel like everybody in the u.s has gotten sick in like november and december here is how monday turned out what's the highlight of the day this first like this whole first half of the week was literally just cleaning, packing, and pretty much prepping for vacation. So there's no big highlight of those days. Moving on to Thursday, which is when we left. The picture I chose, just one from airplane look. And yeah, I didn't really have too many pictures from that day. But let's talk about... What did happen? I left my phone in the bathroom at LAX and we were, okay, so we were walking to find our car rental place and my dad's like, what car rental place? Like, what bus do we need to look for? I was like, oh, I don't know. Let me check my phone. I go into my leggings pocket and my phone isn't there. And I just said, my phone's in the bathroom. And I left my luggage and I started booking it back to the bathroom. Thankfully, my phone was still in the stall and I got it. I'm just so thankful. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe I did that. But anyways, that was not the highlight. I mean, it was a highlight of the day. It wasn't a good highlight, but that was the highlight of the day. Moving on to Friday, it was a Disneyland day. I just chose some pictures we got on a lot of rides this day this was our first day using genie plus and it worked really really well except i think genie plus is worth it it's only if you are going to be in the parks until later in the night like closer to when they close fast passes end up selling out and they get pushed towards the evening and for us we weren't like by three o'clock it was hard for me to book any fast passes because they were going into the evening when i either knew we wouldn't be in the parks or we weren't going to be in the parks because we were going to be resting or i just knew we weren't going to be in the park that late so it worked really well in the morning and specifically at rope drops because if you're there super early wait times are kind of low and then you can start booking your fast passes a little bit like mid morning or late morning i do think genie plus is worth it for the most part we got a lot done on this friday uh we start to like dwindle down as the week goes on because like i said some of us got sick this was a really good day and we just got on a lot of rides as you can see that saturday we ended up sleeping in because we were just exhausted and this day we had goofy's kitchen reservations it was like the last like reservation before they switched over to lunch we did some downtown disney shopping we went to brea mall i think that's how you say it i don't know and Ryder was not feeling well while we were at the mall like he started not feeling well moving on 
Oh, I just got a picture of Ryder and Destiny with Dale. Moving on to Sunday, I use this munchkin because we got up at 2.45 a.m. I think it was pretty much me, the hubs, and my dad because Ryder was just not feeling well. My poor guy, he was on the bathroom floor just laying down with a blanket. So he ended up with a fever and he threw up a little bit. We kind of just uh, hung out at the hotel. We had McDonald's and Panera. And then later in the evening, we did end up going to the mall except for the hubs and Ryder. They did stay back. Moving on to Monday, of course, I still had to put in my Hello Monday. It's just a picture of me and Ryder. Um, Ryder, he still wasn't 100%, but he was like a lot better by like lunchtime-ish. So we did stay back from Universal Studios. So we just hung out in the hotel. We did end up walking to McDonald's. We got ices. I did laundry. I doodled a lot on this day for like mama's minis. And then the rest of the family went to Universal Studios, which they had a really good day. I think there was two rides not open or one ride not open and they got on every single ride except for two because the waits were like over an hour long so they had a really good universal day and then we had chick-fil-a for the very very first time we do have one here in hawaii now but the line has been crazy so we did try it up there and even up there it was like really crowded moving on to tuesday that wait that's not my picture here is the pictures that i chose for the day this is the very first time we did radiator springs racers standby we have never ever stood in standby before for this ride we've always done fast passes now they're fast passes you have to pay an additional per person so we decided to rope drop radiator springs racers on this day we still waited in line for an hour which i think is officially the longest we've ever stood in any line we did stand in line for 45 minutes for smugglers run when it first like opened back in 2019 i think that's when it opened we did do standby for that but that was like 45 minutes so this is the longest line that we've ever waited in and we did get on a bunch of rides this day and this was a 14 hour day we didn't take any breaks on this day and Ryder did get to go he was feeling a lot better no fever moving on to Wednesday Today we are rope drop people so we did a rope drop Peter Pan on this day we did head back because I had a headache and we did take some naps we didn't do too much in the evening but we did end our day with cold stone we are all like getting pretty tired at this point and I mentioned earlier this was one of like the coldest trips that we've been on it's never been like consistently cold for our entire trip we would have some like warmer I guess like warmer days but it was like in the 50s and I think some high 40s some nights and we're just not used to that so not that we were miserably cold but it was it was very very cold for us and we weren't like a hundred percent prepared for it to be cold the entire time like that moving on to Thursday Day. we did have a later start we still made it before rope drops i believe Aiden did stay back on this morning he had a headache and he had a slight fever so he wanted to rest we did start in california adventure park and for this day we did choose to purchase the lightning lane for radiator springs racers i wanted to get on it one more time at least before we left and so we paid it the lightning lane was so long and so we were just like counting trying to count all the heads it's like yep Every single one of these persons paid to be here. It was it was crazy. The line was very long. I did feel like we got on a decent amount of rides on this day. Um, like I mentioned, Genie Plus works well if you're going to be in the parks and in the parks like throughout the night too because things do times do get pushed back pretty quick. Anyways, right before we headed back to the hotel, we decided to either go on Splash or Grizzly so that if we did get soaked, we could go back and dry our clothes. But right when we were leaving, Splash and Grizzly was closed. Moving on to Friday, our last day in the parks, I used this Mad Hatter beanie from Every Man in the Story because we did Alice and teacups, so that was exciting. I feel like we got on a decent amount of rides this day. I was convinced that we weren't going to get on web slingers before the trip ended every time i went to check for the fast pass it was like way later in the day and yeah so i was convinced that we would not be getting on that ride i just so happened we were leaving at disney to go we we're leaving disney to take a break back at the hotel and i was like you know what why don't i just check to see if there's anything close by get on the app there is fast passes available for like five minutes away from the time that I was looking. So somebody probably had canceled their fast pass and it got put back in the system. And I stagged it so quick. So we rushed over to California Adventure to get in the lightning lane for Web Slingers, which the lightning lane was also 
pretty long. I think we we're there. Okay, well, it was long for Lightning Lane, but standby was over an hour, so I think we were there for like 15 or 20 minutes. That's that. We ended our Disneyland trip with a round trip on the train, which was uh, semi-miserable. It was so cold. So cold. Cold for us. We're not used to that, like I mentioned. We live in Hawaii if you're new to my channel, and we don't get that cold, and to be in the high 40s for us is is it, it's cold so at the end i just put so tired and cold saturday we did sleep in because we weren't going anywhere we did some final downtown disney shopping we had to go to find some place out to ship out a canvas that i got in and out is always our last stop before we go and we did go to trader joe's and i wanted to mark this slept almost entire flight i don't usually sleep on the flights i'd like nap here and there but for me to sleep almost the entire flight is something very very new moving on to sunday it was just like home stuff we did four loads of laundry this day got up early i napped i wasn't feeling well that was that i have not filmed any plan with me since being back i've kind of just been memory planning on my own so i can show you how last week turned out i love this week turned out makes me really happy so this is how a last week turned out i used a kit from vanilla paper co and it was just a lot of getting back into home things trying to get the house tidied up from you know unpacking all of the laundry getting done plus still recovering Jaden and Ryder ended up not going to school this entire week only Destiny did they had a really really bad cough which like started when we came home they had a slight cough up there but nothing like the coughs that they were doing this week I even developed a cough this week but yeah it was just Christmas shopping tidying up the house and resting that's pretty much how the week went and then this is the current week it's currently what is today Thursday as I'm filming this I'm using a kit from fabulously planned i love me i'm loving how it is turning out so far this week was just really getting back into work and the work routine finishing christmas shopping and all of that kinds of stuff that is it that is my disney cap i pretty much probably just talked your ear off but that's how disney planning went this one kind of shocked me as like i really thought i was going to be able to sit down at the end of the day to plan but we had some like nine o'clock nights ten o'clock nights and yeah that just wasn't gonna happen it was like straight into the hot shower because it was so cold and straight into bed because we were so exhausted i should have known better it is what it is i got to pre-plan at least i hope you guys enjoyed listening to how our trip went if you have any questions about disney about the whole planning system that i attempted or tried to use or anything like that you can leave them down below and i will answer them there i yeah but anyways that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you always so much for watching and i will catch you guys in my next one bye guys